Some people don't want to show their face when they talk. And I understand that, I guess, in a lot of ways. But in a, a lot of other ways, it's, it's bold to show your face because everyone wants to hide behind something else. Some sort of bullshit. Your face doesn't give you any credit, but it equalizes you in the world of anonymity where everyone's trying to talk to each other like an impersonal asshole. Where everyone's trying to use everything against you. Why does it have to be that way? This is just the way that we humans are. This is just the way that it is. Now I've heard the cult of personality a lot lately. And I've heard it obviously at different times. It's quite a famous saying. But that's when you have like a cult. When you have a cult of followers. And cult of followers. It could be many types. It could just be family. On one hand, if you have like a large family and you communicate to them, if you live in a small town, it could be your community. Because people in real small towns mostly know each other to some degree or not. But you're not being fully anonymous. You're putting your face, you're looking at the camera, and you're telling whatever story that you have about whatever you're engaging. You're on a messaging call to the world. And people rightly have concerns about privacy and all that stuff because it's really creepy what they can do if they just have what you what you look at your browser history you could want to look at some strange shit for some strange reasons they're not always bad but just any type of manipulated view of the light that shines on any one person in this society today could be warped to make you look like a piece of shit that you've done some great wrong. That's why there is such a move to get people so triggered by just simple terms. Because once you get people thinking that the other is so vastly different than the self that you can um, hate them, attack them, or basically point your finger and say, you, you other, you other person, you can make it, you can make them like subhuman. And that's what people tend to do. So we need to tend to not, we need to tend to stop doing that. How do we do it? Well, first, I think we do need to show our face. Show our face to show who the fuck you are. If you have something to say and you think it's important and you will fucking dialogue, you'll put your face up. It doesn't make you famous or special. It just makes you who the fuck you say you are. A person. This is it. Without having to pretend to hide behind something. It's a big deal when you can put your face on the line. It means you're willing to actually communicate. A lot of people aren't. How many people are fucking emojis and, and just uh, avatars or anime creatures on the web? Why do you think it's so a big deal to do shit like that? Because people are using the anonymity to work out their issues. To work out their little fucking quirks. Their fucking phobias. 
their um, itises. And maybe that's a good thing. On one hand, it's a good thing. On one hand, it's a, it's a bad thing. Because you get all the fucking explicit vices totally worked upon. Whereas maybe something like that wouldn't be. Someone would escape those tendencies. But I think we have to we have to be strong in our tendencies. If we're tending to try to do something good and creative. Or if we're tending just to devolve, deform, and abase ourselves in this life. Surely you can't do both. There's always going to be a mixed, varying degrees of this and that, yes and no, black and white in this world. All of the greatest teachings say not to take yourself too fucking seriously. And that's true. The more serious business you are about your ego and your false self, the more likely you will be to be duped and to fall off into one of these hell worlds, narcissistic pathways that I don't think it's your soul's destiny to do. I think our soul's destiny is higher than that. I think it is to put our face out there and to say what we think and to try to come into one accord. And some people don't like that. Some people don't like thinking like that because it scares them. It makes them have to think about things that they're not too sure about. And that scares the person into their soul. But that's how you wake up your soul. You have to have different realizations, fears, um, dark nights, so that you can come through this world and make some sense of it. And you do have to decide what your way is going to be. If the smile is going to be on your face for your own reasons, or if they're going to put one on you. And it's not that difficult. It kind of is a wondrous thing to be in here and to be able to share with one another this horribly limited experience should gain some sort of amazing type of finality for when it's done. Because I do believe this is probably one of the hardest places to come to and be. I do think that. And I do think we may know that before we come here. So I can't get off into the, oh, this realm is fucking shit. And it's a punishment or it's a prison. No, it's hard. It's dark. And I think we know that. But from a point of view, we're infinitely greater in scope and in quality. In that place, that is the spiritual realm. That is the spiritual realm. And although balance is extreme here, and it is, and it feels that way, this is just a very limited, dense experience that definitely has to have a reward to it. There has to be an exceedingly great reward for coming to this world and not being fucked off by it. Not being fucked off by it. Even if you survive to die of natural causes or get hit by a car and are off of this earth, you never know. Life is so fragile, you know. We ain't shit. You could easily just drop a block on somebody's head and take them out, you know. We're like those Goombas in... in Super Mario Brothers that you step on. Burn, burn. Just Goombas. So don't be a Goomba. Be a turtle with a shell at least. Be flying Hammer Brothers. Whatever you gotta do to survive it. I'm just saying. There's a reason to put your face on blast. And there's a good reason for that. Because that means that in all this fake truth or ass bullshit there's one area where you're what you say you are is what you is is what you're in your meat suit